What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video I want to talk about some of the essentials and the must have desert supplies and stuff when going out to the desert. Because a lot of you guys ask me, Eddie, I'm getting into the desert. What should I buy? What should I take? You know, what is, is very important out there? All right, a must have desert essential. This is what you guys need. No, not a photo of a bunch of mobsters. But I mean, you know, that'll look good in your trailer too if you guys like. I gotta hang this thing up somewhere, you know. This thing's been sitting here for a while and I really like the photo. I don't hope, oh, don't wanna break it. Um, but I used to have it hung up where the TV was over there and that was a while ago and I don't have an idea of where to hang it. So let me know guys. Do you guys have any ideas of where to hang it? I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna say there. But I'm not hanging anything there because sometimes when we have some movie nights over here, we uh, put the projector there and shoot it on the wall uh, and it shoots at 200 uh, inch screen or projection screen on this wall. So that's why this wall has to stay open because this is our projection wall. That is a no go for right there, but I got, you know, uh, some room up there. I got this whole wall. I was thinking maybe like right here. I don't know. Nah, give me some idea guys. Let me know. But back to the essential. So this right here, this Honda 2000, let me take it out here for you guys. This Honda 2000 right here is probably the best investment that you guys will buy. Reason being is number one, you do not have to run your big, you know, um, Onan generator, especially like us guys with the weekend warriors and these toy haulers. Those damn generators are loud, they vibrate, and they use a lot of fuel. Uh, the 4500 to 5500 what we have now, if you have like a, a motor home and they have the diesel generators where they're all the way up front and they're not that loud in the cab, you can use that because also those diesel generators in the motor homes run off of their same tank. On the toy haulers, they have, you know, their 15 or 20 gallon or 30 gallon tank. They don't run off of, you know, the actual fuel tank of a motor home. So, I don't know. It's just, this is less maintenance. It is so quiet. I mean, you can't even hear this thing when it starts and it's nice it's quiet and it's light i was thinking about getting a 3000 but the 3000 is a lot heavier this 2000 runs my entire weekend warrior the only thing it will not run is my air conditioning other than that it runs the microwave um you know if you need to use a blow dryer i mean everything it runs everything and you just plug your trailer in right there and it powers you know your entire trailer and that's it. And if you have a transfer switch, you, uh-oh, uh-oh. And also, this thing is so smart, it will let you know, <laughs> apparently, if you are low on oil and will turn off. Um, so, well, I guess uh, she's low on oil. Another thing, this Bimford 4000, okay, no, it's my Milwaukee blower here. Why bring this? You guys always see in the back of my truck. So if you guys know when you get out to the desert, you have the carpet out there and sand gets everywhere and it pretty much gets a mess the first like hour. I use this just to blow all of the dirt, all the rocks, everything off a little whoop, whoop, and that's about it. You know, it keeps that clean, keeps it good and keeps it all the, the dirt and debris and rocks and everything from getting onto the carpet so you don't track it into your weekend warrior. Another thing guys, tools. Bring some tools, so you don't have to bring a bunch of crazy uh, stuff, but bring some generic tools. You guys have seen what's in the back of my truck. Um, I don't, obviously, I don't bring this cart, but bring some tools so when you guys have some issues out there, uh, you can, you know, just in case, you could try to, you know, get whatever you need fixed and, you know, hopefully get on uh, back with your trip and fix whatever's broken. Now we'll head to the uh, toy hauler, and I'll show you some stuff uh, that we put in there. And, you know, I think it's pretty important, but we need our handy dandy umbrella. See, when your umbrella's broken, you gotta hold on to it. But it's kinda nice when you let it go. Look at that. It's like an automatic. You're getting very sleepy. All right. So now you guys remember, I used to have the compressor in the toy hauler, but I never really used it because my truck one was just so much more powerful and worked so much better. And I'm not gonna be able to vlog and hold the umbrella, so. Oh. We'll just keep the umbrella there for now. And we'll just get wet for a little bit. So, here is a must, guys. All right, guys, so some important also other things you would need was I highly recommend, oops, maybe I should turn the damn light on. Okay. A jack. Uh, it doesn't have to be a big 20-ton. This is a nice jack, but it's a 20-ton air jack. 
I like it just because, you know, I don't have any issues of sitting there pumping and it runs off the off my uh, my truck in the air tank, so it's very easy. Another thing, whatever you have, Can-Am, Polaris, Yamaha, whatever it is, or a new Honda Talon that has 104 horsepower, it's ridiculous. Um, spare belts, keep a spare belt. I know, uh, you know, these things do break out there, so spare belts, it's a nice little uh, lock to lock your generator, extension cords, and this guy's right here. Best thing in the world, it is still on. So this is, and eventually, I wanna put a slider in here so I can slide this out. But right now, I fill my fridge full of food, and this is a cooler with just uh, some beers in it. But it's nice because it stays cold. You plug it in, it's got heat and it's got cool. Stays plugged in. Uh, I leave this thing on you know, all desert season. So far, so good. I've never had a problem with it. But this is my little cooler. Um, so you know when we're hanging out outside, we don't have to go in the toy hauler. You just lift this up. And it's done. I don't uh, want to deal with the big coolers and having to look for the ice cream man. As you guys know, to get ice, that's kind of a pain in the ass. So instead of dealing, you know, with the cooler where you need the ice and everything, I just use one of these things. You plug it in, and that's it. You're done. You're good to go. That's pretty much all I have in here. I got some wood in here, uh, right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Go as I have some wood. I got some chemicals back there. Uh, you know, the WD-40, the Simple Green, just some of the uh, basic generic stuff. And then I have my carpet all the way in the back. The carpet is the one I was telling you guys to use with the blower. You know, uh, it just goes right here in front of the toy hauler that is getting rained on. Also guys, another thing. This tank is now for sale. It is the uh, RDS tank. It is for a 1500. If you're wondering what that little thing is right there, uh, that is to clear the wheel well. It's a custom made tank specifically for 1500 trucks. Um, it was made for a Chevy 1500. But uh, now I'm getting rid of it because it's been sitting here for a while. And it is a 65 gallon tank. So let me know if you guys are uh, interested in this thing. Uh, well, because I'm gonna get rid of it. And I will give you guys a smoking deal on it. If you are interested, you can DM me on my Instagram at DuramaxKing2500. And guys, you gotta have your uh, you know chairs to sit by the fire. I bring these chairs. I got a couple more in the... Uh, toy hauler got some rocking chairs over here other than that that's about it guys wow holy shit Whoa. okay i'm not gonna lie that's pretty freaking scary that 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 one I, I'm not gonna lie. That that was pretty damn scary. Uh for all you people out there that this is like normal too. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. Sorry, I'm out of here. Too crazy for me. Oh look at that. That'd be nice. Just light up my driveway. We got a little lightning sh okay, alright. Now you count, right? One, two. That wasn't a uh, very long count. Let's head inside here and see what we got cooking. What do we got cooking here, Big Lou? Alaskan halibut. Alaskan halibut. Did you go all the way to Alaska to get that? Yeah. Wow. Triple layer. No oh, way. Uh oh, huh? We just swam back. Did it? Did, oh, you swam back from Alaska to grab it, huh? What's Mr. Accolade cooking? Uh, oh boy. Two New Yorks with an extra garlic. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Uh, Christopher Ranch. That's really? right. Thank you, Christopher. Wait, can you Appreciate guess what it. Comes Eddie's? Can yeah. you guess which one's mine? Mr. Garlic Boy. Sorry, guys. I <laughs> Would you I, like some steak with your garlic? I love garlic. Sorry. I, my apologies, but you know, I need that garlic, man. A bit of Ooh, I don't know. I, well, but you just it went all down your sleeve. I saw it like, like like this. I think. I know, you, because when does it, he doesn't have a sweatshirt on. It's oh. Like, it's off the back. That's not an alkali sweatshirt. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's why I see. Okay, I hit the practice. You know, practice makes perfect. I believe in you. I, I believe you guys can do it. All right, is the barbecue on? Barbecue's been on. Uh, Warmed up for you, 450 degrees. Mm. Like a forged tranny. Like a forged, forged tranny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says the one who overheated up the grades. Oh! <laughs> there wasn't my transmission, though. Uh, what do you mean? Hey, what's going on, bro? It was like, yeah, it was like 98 you degrees. You also pulled over on the side of the road. I was hauling at 85. Wait, didn't you pull over like... 
pack of hookah ball here was so, so bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. I got the new truck, so you can't. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I'm sure some will have it in the new truck. Wash <laughs> Can we just get on the damn barbecue? I'm getting hungry over here, dude. Wait, where's the uh, steaks? What, what's going on over oh, here? Oh. Just eat it like that. Dude, it's falling apart just before we like even cook that. it. Yeah, just eat it like that. That's why he doesn't cook. All right, Mr. Alkalator. Perfectly cooked, medium, medium, rare New York. You have your fillet. Yes, yes, Very yes. Sausage. I must say, guys, uh, Alkalator, he can uh, make water, hand cook. <laughs> and Lou, Lou, uh, you did good at supervising, man. Yeah. Good job, good job. All right, can you explain this house stuff? Because, I mean, I thought, you know, when I ordered my 10 cases and got nothing, I got confused. All right, we had a little problem with the weather. What do you want to do? <laughs> lost in transit. <laughs> yeah, lost in transit. Do I get a refund? Yeah, so let me explain to you guys the way this works. Okay. So it's a new program, home deliveries with alkylate water. Basically the way it works, uh, for right now, while I'm developing the program, you can uh, DM me on Instagram, either on Alphalay Water or on Platinum Nation, and uh, basically tell me how many cases you'd like. We do have a minimum of six cases, and this is for areas of San Diego, El Cajon, Rancho San Diego, uh, La Mesa, Temecula. <laughs> Sorry guys, but, woo! Was that you? It stinks, man. Someone light a cigar. Oh my god. Dude, I don't don't know. I think anything. it's that. Don't light anything. I right think now. it's that Oreo you just had, man. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to talk and I see Eddie laughing behind the camera. Sorry, I just. Bro, light, light one of those yeah, cigars. We're just listing off the areas. Sorry, okay. go ahead. Temecula, Ramona, Escondido. You go all. You make. Wait, wait. You make house calls only in Temecula? Yeah. Holy crap. We'll go all the way out there. But as of right now, if they say, hey, I want six cases, I heard, you know, about this from Eddie's life, They're, they just get the finger, you give them zero discount? No, I'll invoice you for five only. Okay, so, so buy five, get, get one free. Yeah, okay. We'll do a buy five, get one free for that. Okay, so you guys mentioned. You know Screw it, we'll do a buy four, get two free. Ooh, all right, <laughs> I'm liking that. That's the deal of the century right there. I'm liking that. Okay, well you heard it there, guys. Buy four, get two free. We're gonna have three winners. But as of right now, if yeah, they buy we'll four, have, they get two, yeah, we'll two have free. three winners for it. Okay, and I'll let you guys know how to, I guess, apply for the winning. Yeah, so basically, if you guys wanna do it like that, just uh, DM me on Alkali Water uh, Instagram, and we'll scroll through and um, just randomly choose them out, and we'll call you guys out. Okay, all right. What do you think, Big Lou? Oh, he's ready to light listen. up. To whoever comments in Eddie's uh, YouTube like comments about all the cigars we smoke, this is cigar of the day today. This is, this is the after dinner, and then this is the after after dinner dessert Eastern Ooh. Standard the special dish. I got my Liga or Padron or all right. Well, something over here. There you have it, guys. That's all I got for you guys today. So you guys saw how I set up the trailer. All the, you know, essentials that I think that are important for the trailer. So that's all I got for you guys. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget really to click subscribe. I, I can't peace. In my, or, or, peace. Or, or, I can't. I, someone's going to have to do it for me. Peace. Yeah.